year, the Cape Epic twisted through the lush True Cape orchards of the Ceres and Elgin Valleys, where the apples and pears are hearty and wholesome, just like the farmers that grew up there. It's so um, rocky and sandy and dangerous, and I had a, a tumble at about 45 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Hannes and Saki are apple farmers from the Ceres Valley, so they will appreciate the soil conditions once they get back to growing apples and pears. You know, the high rainfall in this valley, I think it's about 1,200 millimeters a year, contributes to the, the natural vegetation. And um, in general, the, the feinbos is, is quite vigorous in this area because of the high rainfall. That means that there's a consistent deposit of organic matter into the soil which obviously results in a, in a very fertile, perfect soil to grow apples and pears in. For this reason, natural plant life is carefully protected here, like the Svenbos, which has remained untouched for 176 years. And nestled in a dense bush are wild guinea fowl, natural enemies of this little guy. Snout beetles love to feast on our takeaways from nature, so the True Cape team are always developing creative ways to keep their numbers down, like the Boschwalder chicken. Now, snout beetle is a very interesting insect biggest enemy, natural enemy, is the guinea fowl or even a pheasant because the enzymes in the stomach of a pheasant or a guinea fowl is very strong and that can kill the snout beetle instantly. With a normal chicken it's not the case. So that's why the Boschfelder was bred. So the next time you bite into a true Cape Fuji apple, sweet and zesty like a lick of sherbet, we hope you'll remember the little creatures that helped it grow because that is what makes our apples perfectly natural wonders. SMS True Cape to 41471 to stand a chance to win 20,000 Rand or one of 10 True Cape apple peelers and recipe books. It peels, cores and slices apples in one easy step, turning a tasty snack into a playful treat for the family.